Hello everybody, my name is C. Chris Peters. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, and demonstrate how to patch up some old ARP MSL modules. Uh, I have a bank of MSL modules right here and I'm going to interface them or hook them up with this AX uh, model over here. Um, Anyway, the modules originally came in these Bakelite boxes and they were powered by 9 volt batteries. Some of them had one 9 volt battery, some of them had two. Uh, these things eat 9 volt batteries for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But for technology from 1975, this was a very forward uh, thinking way of approaching uh, people talking about and teaching people about analog synthesis at the time. I put together, uh, or rather resurrected, uh, 12 of these uh, MSL modules. Uh, the top are voltage-controlled oscillators. And we have two voltage-controlled filters, a noise generator, two voltage-controlled amplifiers, an envelope generator, a sample and hold, a multiple box, and a um, mixer attenuator. This is a bank of 12 MSL modules. The top mo row here are voltage controlled oscillators, and we have two voltage controlled filters, a noise generator, two voltage controlled amplifiers, a uh, ADSR or envelope generator, a sample and hold, a multiple box, and a mixer attenuator. Our first step is to uh, hook up the mixer. So I'm going to take my amplifier lead and hook it into the mixer attenuator here. I have to make sure this is on. My next step is to uh, confirm that we're having a signal. So I'm going to take the uh, audio signal out from my voltage control oscillator and plug it into my mixer attenuator. Okay, we have a signal. So with the attenuator, we can control the relative volume of the voltage controlled oscillator. So we have established we have a signal from the attenuator to mixer to the voltage control oscillator. But we have no way of doing other th anything other than having a drone pitch. But we're going to remedy that. I'm going to use the Axis keyboard, the control of the CV out, it's located behind. That's stock, by the way, with the, the Axe. And I'm going to connect it to the keyboard input of the voltage controlled oscillator. Okay. Notice as I use the keyboard, I now have control over pitch and just pitch. But that will drone and drone and drone unless we do something about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily disconnect the output of the voltage control oscillator and put it into the input of the voltage controlled amplifier. Okay. But from the voltage controlled amplifier I'm going to then take the output of the voltage controlled amplifier and put it into the mixer attenuator. And now I can control the volume from here as well as from here. But it's still droning. What we want to do is we want to gate the signal or be able to turn the signal on and off. The way we would do that is that we would add a envelope generator control to the voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, That stops it. I can control this. This envelope generator has control over attack, decay, sustain, and release parameters, okay, which I'll get into uh, at another video. 
I want to manually start this, I can push the button here. If I want an immediate start, if I want to slow the start a little bit, okay. So now I have control over, now I have separate control over the amplitude and the pitch. As long as I hold this button down, it will remember the last key I play. But this is kind of, this position is very um, uncomfortable. What I want to do is I want to connect this keyboard to this uh, envelope generator. And by doing that, I will connect the gate out and put it into the external gate input over here on the uh, envelope generator. Okay, so what happens now is as I play, so now I have control over both the amplitude and the pitch from the key, from an external keyboard. Now I'm going to add the filter to the mix, the voltage controlled filter. So I'm going to take the uh, the signal from the voltage controlled amplifier and put it into the input of the voltage controlled filter. Okay, then I'm going to take the output of the voltage controlled filter and put it into the input of the voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, so when I play the keyboard, I don't get anything until I change the, the frequency and the resonance. And that changes the quality of the, the sound. Again, this is kind of inconvenient for me to play, so I want to be able to control the voltage control filter from the keyboard as well. This is why I use, I'm going to be using the same uh, envelope generator to do that. Fortunately, this has a second envelope generator output. And that's going to go into the control input of the voltage control filter. So now I should be able to play both the envelope generator, the generator, envelope generator will um, control both the voltage control filter and the voltage control amplifier at the same time from the keyboard. Okay, that's it.